My overall impressions of the MiG-3 fighter are relatively positive. It seems like a fast and capable machine, and it's much easier to keep up with the Messers and the MiG than with the little E-Shack. My landings could still use some work, however, but I'm sure I'll get those down eventually. Today we will be escorting a large flight of Sturmoviks. They'll be hitting German positions on the outskirts of Dorschovel. For this mission, the wing-mounted BK machine gun pods were removed. I'm curious to see how the MiG will handle without the additional weight. Many pilots seem to prefer flying without the machine gun pods, so I expect I will have the same opinion, although we will see. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Battle of Moscow career in the MiG-3. Today we are escorting a large flight of IL-2s that are actually taking off from our old airfield. There's a signal flare way out there. I wonder, wonder where those IL-2s are, but indeed they are taking off from here, Velocity Novo, where we were operating out of previously. And now we're on the nice paved runways here, living in luxury in comparison. And we're popping off a lot of signal flares waiting for IL-2s to fly overhead and we'll rendezvous with them. And then it's pretty much just a straight shot to the German positions right here that uh, the IL-2s will hit and we are protecting them. Looks like we are cleared for takeoff. Lights on. Don't need flaps down or anything like that. Quick surface check. Our machine is looking good. Roll. We want to be very careful not to kill ourselves on takeoff with a funky tailwheel. Drifting quite a bit. It's definitely going to take practice to keep the MiG-3 steady on takeoff. Nice and straight. Okay, we're golden. Gear up. Perfect. We are going to form up with flight lead. I still do not see the IL-2s, but I trust they are here. We should... We'll keep our mixture at around 80% for the time being. I suppose we'll throttle up, or throttle down, excuse me. Oh, oh there they are. Looks like a flight of six IL-2s that we will be escorting. Hopefully we don't run into too much trouble. Like I did mention in the briefing, we do not have our additional gun pause, so we just have the standard ammo loadout with one pretty much rifle caliber machine gun and one 12.7 millimeter machine gun. It should be interesting to see how the aircraft handles without the added weight on the wings. I know the pilots dislike the gun pods and according to the briefing or the specifications it's like around a 13 kilometer per hour speed loss without them so we'll see how the how the plane acts it looks like we're just going to climb up into a position above the il2 so watch out for them while they do their ground pounding i'll keep you all updated of any developments that may happen as we close towards the target area Okay, I think we have company. Tracer fire down low. 109s have jumped us pretty early into the fight. Looks like I have one down low possibly there. Uh, it's getting shot at by a MiG. All right, let's go get him. I don't even think we've made it across uh, Russian lines at this point. I missed. Pull up. Looks like another MiG is on that 109. And good. Okay, we are above the fight. Try to pick out our target. Oh, come on. Let's close up our radiators a bit.
try to pick out a target here. Circle above the fight, see what's going on. That's a MIG. Where are the rest of them? Not on my six. I'm not seeing anything, and I lost the IL-2s. Oh, there we go. Got something behind us. I want to stay above the fight in relative safety. That is a messer right there. Okay, we don't want to be this aggressive with our dive. There he is. We want to avoid diving too fast so our control surfaces don't lock up. Ah. Not going to be able to keep that up. Second time's a charm. Going back in. Pretty good hits there. Looks like a radiator and a fuel leak. Not bad. Let's see, where are the rest of them? I want to say that 109 would be out of the fight. However, every time I leave a crippled aircraft, it comes back and bites me in the ass. So we're going to finish this 109 off. I got a few hits there. And we are just running circles around this guy. Start boosting. Unfortunately, a lot of my shots have not been landing home here. I'm definitely going to have to get used to these guns. That was a good burst. I don't think that 109 is getting home. Let's see, what do we have up here? My main concern at this point is having enough ammunition to protect the IL-2s while they do their ground attack mission. There's that freaking 109. He's coming for me. He's not happy with what I've done. Hey, he's trying to get home. does not look good. Hey, what are my temps like? Okay, we need to open up. Oh, I accidentally closed my water radiator. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's head back to the north there. There's our friend. Oh, his engine's going to burst. Okay, we need to head this way and resume our mission. Looks like I have another MiG-3 off to... Okay, obviously something just passed me. Alright, we're not out of the woods. We gotta keep fighting. Apparently there was still stuff behind me that I was not able to see. It's 
to 109. Okay, we're gonna climb up then. They're taking anti-aircraft fire from probably from friendly ground positions down here. There's one. Migs just passed behind me. We have com we have friends. We're okay. All right. There's the 109. Clipped his tail. This bastard. See what I mean? They always come back around. And when they shouldn't. This guy should be heading home. I tried to spare you. Alright, we have him. Is that it? Is he going to pull out of that? Wow. Impressive. He crashed. Good. Okay, I can't see anything with this glass. All right, we have aircraft off to nine o'clock. Taking anti-air fire, we should be able to catch him. The plane does handle significantly better without the gun pods on the wings. I, it is noticeable. Very noticeable, really. I'm quite happy with how the plane is performing right now. Lots of flack up here. There's a MiG. I'm going to stick with him. See where he's going and that's a 109 right there well i'll join this fight protect our friend we have much better odds fighting together in a 2v1 of course keep my eyes on him i don't see any other 109s just this one here Come on. Good. Oh, I don't like head-ons with 109s. No, thank you. Keeping my eyes on the target. Make sure no one else is around. No enemy. No more enemies. Got some hits. Our other MiG-3 friend is there. This 109 is bleeding altitude at this point. We're in a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, we're tied up here. No idea what the Sturmovics are up to. Hopefully they're doing all right. Come here, come here, come here. Don't want to overshoot. 
Okay. Not something I really want to do with them. We'll keep our speed up. I lost him. There he is. Is he going down? Is he hitting the deck trying to run away? Oh, he went down. Splash two. Is that a MIG? That's a MIG. All right. Let's go, boys. Time to find those IL-2s and protect them. We still have ammo. I don't know how much. I have a feeling we're getting a little low. We do have quite a bit, though. Uh, a decent amount. So who knows? Who knows how much we've actually expended? Of course, there's no ammo counters in this aircraft, as those were pretty rare in general. All right, well, I'm gonna stick with this MiG-3 here, and uh, we'll probably resume our original course heading towards the IL-2s. Sounds like they are pounding the ground, putting warheads on foreheads, so we'll see uh, if we can regroup with them. Well, I was heading to where the IL-2s were, and I found this, a German airfield, and it looks like possibly uh, aircraft landing. Their navigation lights are on here, of course. We're going to investigate, see what's going on, see what these are. There's one on the ground there, but I'm going to take the one in the air. It's a bigger threat. has to be a 109, right? Yep, looks like it. Oh, he sees me. Darn it. I was hoping I'd get a pretty good bounce going there. Lots of anti-aircraft fire. You know what? Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I want that AAA to start putting a hurt on me. Yeah, have fun taxiing your plane. Like it's leaking something. If only I had bombs. Okay, it's time to go. Let's head back to where our IL-2s are. There's still a 109 in the air somewhere. Oh, hello. German anti-aircraft gunners have woken up. Okay, well, I figured it was worth a shot. Anyway, we're going to head to where the IL-2s are, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and speaking of IL-2s, there they are. Awesome. How many are there? Six. We started with six, and we're returning with six right now of an aircraft right there off the three o'clock. Looks like a MiG-3. 
More MIGs are providing top cover. All right. Perfect. That 109's looks like he's trying to go in for a landing. He's probably low on fuel. Really trying to get home. We still have ammo. Let's close up our radiator a little bit. Get a bit more speed going. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. May have gotten away once, but we hit them nice and fast. Unfortunately, the armament in the MiG-3 uh, leaves a bit to be desired. I don't know how practical a bounce like this will be. Anti-air is opening up. We're going 550 kilometers per hour. The 109s always turn at the wrong times, huh? Quite a few good hits there. <laughs> yeah. I think he's going down. Splash three. Yuri's out for revenge. Out of ammo. Let's go home. Time to head for our IL-2s and get the hell out of here. Well, there's a large formation of IL-2s there off to one o'clock, but we do have a straggler here. Looks like he's having a hard time keeping up with the rest of the formation. So I'm going to fly with him. Um, even though we are out of ammo, he doesn't know that. But yeah, we'll fly with this aisle too. He's definitely having issues keeping up. Let's investigate. I'm sure his plane's kind of torn up. Yeah, wow. That IL-2 looks rough. Definitely seen better days. Let's look at the other side of him. Yeah, he's been hit pretty bad. Well, this guy's going to get his own little uh, personal escort here. We'll bring him all the way back home. Hopefully we're not attacked by any enemy fighters flying way back here. Oh, we should be approaching uh, our home airfield now. We're not very far from the front lines at all at this point. And it looks like that's our airfield on the radio. So yeah, we're getting close. Okay, we've just received the message. Uh, mission is completed. The IL-2s have made it back to their home base. And this guy's going to make it back home A-OK -okay as well. Yep, 
Good luck, my friend. All right. Time to head on home. And there's our airfield right there. The IL-2 airfield is right here. Oh, time to focus on getting our crate down. Flap limiter. Start dropping it. The MiG-3 has an interesting flap system, and we don't want we don't want the flaps down. There's this flap. There's this flap limiter here, which you set, so you can set it to you know 60 degrees down or whatever. And uh, when you deploy the flaps, they'll drop down to 60%. This is pretty useful for using like combat flaps. So if you want to set them to like 10 or 15%, you can drop your flaps on the fly and it'll go straight to 15%. Um, it took me some getting used to. I actually made the previous landing without deploying my flaps at all. So that's kind of why I was floating a lot. Just in case you were curious about that. Lights on. Okay, it looks like we already have quite a few aircraft down. Maybe it'll, one of the last ones to actually arrive home. There's the IL-2s. Okay, we've made it to the airfield. I think it's time to begin our final approach here. Um, which runway do I want to land on? Probably this long one right here. Going 250 kilometers per hour currently. Oh boy. Came in a little too fast. Okay, looking good, we're down. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll start breaking. I was a little faster than uh, I would have liked, of course. We came down a little, a little hard uh, there, but the plane is still down and we are okay. Anyway, uh, as you all know, we will cut now and I will see you all on the mission debrief. Okay, here we go. Mission accomplished. We were in the air for 38 minutes and 29 seconds. We shot down three enemy aircraft and brought home all of the IL-2s. Uh, quite a successful mission, if I do say so myself. It looks like the IL-2s did quite a bit of work here. Blew up lots of stuff. And then, of course, our 109s we ended up shooting down. Yeah, it looks like a good chunk of the engagement took place before... Looks like this is where we initially broke here, huh? Or maybe, maybe it was here. But yeah, a lot of it took place before we even crossed the front lines, which was uh, a little surprising. And this is the one I shot down near this airfield. So they will definitely be on the, on the lookout for me after this. That's for sure. Let's see how the rest of the squadron did. Hopefully everyone's okay. And I didn't... I don't recall anyone getting shot down, but um, we will find out. Been or I have been awarded the Order of the Red Red Banner. <laughs> this is my second one, and I got it's the early variant, and we'll get 3,000 rubles for our pilot kill or aircraft kill bonus, which is nice. And yeah, everyone made it back home, and we ended up just destroying three planes. There was an earlier mission here, as you can see, enemy river crossing attack, and uh, one pilot was in fact wounded, but he's also the one that blew up a transport. So. Anyway, that's all I really have today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.